Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I start school in four days. Yay! Guys, my cat loves me. She's not actually a heart, right, Pepper? Yeah. But because I start school in four days, I thought I'd do a back-to-school themed video. So for this video, I decided to do kind of a beauty guru thing. I've never been a beauty guru before, so no judgments, please. But I'm going to be showing you my morning routine for school, what's in my backpack, giving you a few breakfast ideas and a few DIYs. So let's get started. This DIY is perfect for people that lose their notebooks easily. You're going to need a notebook and a permanent marker. So what you're going to do is you take your blank notebook and your permanent marker and you just write your name on the front of the notebook and then you just underline it so people know it's yours and they won't take it. So for this DIY, you're going to need a sock. I chose the sock that has these dogs um, surfing. I just got this at Target, so socks are like really easy to find. You can just look at your local clothing store. You're also going to need some pencils and pens. So what you're going to do is you take your sock. At the top of your sock, there's a hole that usually you put your foot in, but for this, we're going to be using it to put our pencils in. So you just nicely like put all the pencils in. Once you've got all your pencils and pens, don't forget about the pens. Once you get all those in, you can just kind of like shove them down to the bottom and then tie a knot at the top so that they don't fall out. But then when you need a pencil, you can just like untie it. But then this is also really good because if somebody annoying comes up to you, you can just like whack them in the head with your sock pencil pouch. So like this is really useful. All right, my last DIY, you need some duct tape and then another pencil. And this is for people who like always lose their pencils. I just found this really handy way, <laughs> handy, no pun intended, to keep your pencil right like by your side the whole time. So what you're gonna do is you take your hand, I hope you have a hand, and you just like put the pencil in your hand. And then you take your duct tape and just like put that around your hand then when you like think it's tight enough you can just rip the tape and like you'll never lose your pencil because it's like right by your side and you can still like write and stuff but it's just like super easy and you don't even have to worry about losing it because there's no way this guy is coming loose okay so this is my backpack as you can see it's very simple it's just like black just like my soul so the first thing I have in my backpack are these earbuds so that I can't hear the haters. The next thing I have is this bug zapper that like electrocutes bugs and it's probably kind of scary why I have this but sometimes there's like a fly in the classroom and I can just pull this out and zap the fly. The next thing I have is my DIY notebook. As you can see it's really cute and it looks like so good when it's in my backpack paired with the black backpack. I also have my DIY pencil pouch. It looks so good with the backpack and the notebook. Like, I don't know what a better match would be. And then of course I have food. I just have some pizza um, in the original box. Just So it's just always good to have some food in your bag in case you get hungry. And then I also have a knife just in case I need to cut the pizza or have a loose like thread on my shirt and I can just cut it off and it's really useful. And then I just have my skateboard in case there's any need for like evacuation or fire drill. This moves a lot faster than panicking people, so it's really easy just to like jump on this and skate away. The next thing I have is a pillow and a blanket so that I can sleep during nap time. So that's everything I have in I also have a cat, but get back in there. <laughs> you guys didn't see any. So my first breakfast idea is something called cereal. It's really simple. You can buy it at the store and you just pour it in a bowl and add some milk. And it tastes really good and it's really quick. Oops. The next one I have is water. It's for those mornings where you don't really feel like eating anything. You can just drink some water and it's really filling actually. And my last DIY is an English muffin. I got these from the freezer um, and I usually just like to eat them frozen because 
I just think it's so much better when I eat them frozen. So you just take them out of the package. I eat each part separately, like the cheese first, and then the patty and the egg, and then the bread. And I think that's just the best way you can eat these breakfast sandwiches. Mmm, yeah, that's really good. Yum, I love frozen food. So the first thing I do in the morning is wake up. I don't know about you guys, but I just really think waking up is the best way to start my morning. And it usually takes me a little bit of time to get out of bed just because, yeah. Um, once I wake up, I usually put on clothes because clothes are a really good thing if you're self-conscious about people seeing you naked. Like me, you know, I don't like people seeing me naked, so I just put on some clothes and it solves all my problems. And then once I put on my clothes, I brush my teeth and have a One Direction concert. If you want to kill her, do no more for so after my One Direction concert and I'm feeling like Harry Styles, I just head to school. Bye. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a disclaimer, this wasn't supposed to be offensive in any way. I'm not making fun of beauty gurus. If you like to do these kind of videos, I'm like, go for it. Like, I don't mean to offend anyone. But if you did get a laugh out of this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more stuff kind of like this, just let me know in the comments below. But I will see you guys in next week's video. And I'll already be in school then, so it's going to be fun. Bye. To my heart beats.